it's so hard and so goes so against the grain of the impulse to look for awakening to look for it in what is painful in what is obviously not awake but that's exactly where we'll find the awakeness because the awakeness is like what what brings it up and what what's all what's already there and it's just like it's giving that to you as a gift as an opportunity to say here here look at this feel this and know that i am in that also this doesn't stand in the way of me this doesn't stand in the way of awakeness it actually is an invitation to find that awakeness, even in that experience, even in this, that seemingly so unenlightened. And I love that paradox. And you know, the reason why the heart is calling us, because the heart wants to wake up fully, totally, in every possible situation. Um, nothing's excluded, no human situation is from love, from the heart, from, from the love that you are. For people who are more more on a on a on a jhani path path the path of knowledge it can be enough to wake up to to know who you are and to to not feel the need for that to become embodied in everyday life um, but for those of us, there is such a need for this knowing, for this awakeness to, to become alive in all of our lives, in all that we are, in all that we do, in all that we say, in all that we experience because the heart somehow includes all of all of our human beingness all of our lives there's no getting away from life in the heart and that's because when when you realize that you don't need to get away that actually everything is an invitation to, to be in that heart more fully, realize that it includes really everything and that you never lost it. That there's such peace and such fullness in that, such, such a beautiful um, such a beautiful yes fullness is the best way i can name it right maybe i'll find other words but this fullness is something that is um that is really they are in heart and it's not there when you're just in the absolute um, so when the heart is calling you it's calling you all to that fullness and to that trust trusting of life that whatever it throws up at you whatever it it 
it includes, that's also what's included in the love, in beingness. It's none of it is excluded from it. None of it is outside. None of it is really, truly separate. 